national is regional. Now, David, there we were at the, at the start of the show just a short time ago in your local cafe. And, you know, someone was stealing something. There was a bit of rustling going on. There was some shooting. Sounds like an action movie. But, you know, for a proper action movie, you actually need tough guys. You need some tough guys. And I'm going to look at uh, four tough guys tonight and, uh, and the origins of these words. The first is macho. Uh, which is a Spanish word, and it means male animal. So El Toro is uh, El Macho. The next is Rambo. However, don't play it on the show because it's only a capital R, but it is a word in its own right, and it comes from that ex-Vietnam vet that uh, Sly Stallone played uh, in the 80s. It comes from a, a 1972 novel called First Blood by uh, John Morrell. Now, he was a, uh, an English lecturer, and I'm sure it was probably his sort of darker, more virile alter ego. The other one is the word thug, which is a, a bruiser or a mugger, and that comes from a Hindi word, thag, T-H-A-G, which means thief. And that's been around for a while, because it's probably quite an old word. It, it has, um, but it's probably more, it has more criminal association rather than the, the, the classic hombre he-man. The last one is the word hoodlum. Now, this, um, I had always presumed it came from neighbourhood, as in bros in the hood or gangster. Because we talk about now, we talk about the shortened version of that, you know, the hood. The hood being the neighbourhood. And that's not the link. I, in fact, what I discovered was that in the 1870s in the San Francisco Bay Area, there were uh, young um, sort of tearaways, larrikins, who would terrorise Chinese labourers. And they were branded hoodlums, which comes from a Bavarian word, huddlump. Sounds, sounds a bit like heffalump. That's, that's a good, huddlump. Huddlump, which is a Bavarian word for scoundrel. So there you've got uh, five tough guys, including ombre, which is Spanish for male, all together in the one posse. It's a beautiful action movie. Thank you, David. <laughs> Let's have a look at our scores. John's on six. Melissa is on 11 as we go into our next letters game. And, uh, John, what would you like this time? Can I have a consonant, please? Thanks, John. R. And another one, thank you. D. And a vowel. I. Uh, another consonant. T. Uh, a vowel. O. Uh, one more consonant. G. Uh, another vowel. I. Uh, a consonant, please. S. And finally, uh, another consonant. And last letter, R. And time starts now. Oh. Uh, I got a six. Six sounds good. Melissa? I got a six as well. Let's check yours first, Melissa. Torrid. And yours, John? The same word, torrid. If you could verify. Well, temperature's rising over here, David. It is indeed. Must be all this talk of action movies. Uh, look, very well played because uh, this was one of those mixes. Uh, I was just uh, waiting, sweating, if you like, on an E or an N. It didn't come, and torrid was the best that I could find too. So well played, a good six. It was a restrictive mix, so very well done. Six points each for Melissa and John. Well, let's see if we can get some more cooperative letters this time around. And, uh, Melissa, can you choose them? Uh, Lily, can I please have a consonant? Thanks, Melissa. P. And another one? M. Another one? F. And a vowel? E. Another one? A. And a third one? I. Um, a consonant, D, a vowel, O, and a consonant, and last letter, T. Thank you, Lily. Here we go. <laughs>
was it a better mix? Um, I'm not sure. I got five that time. Five for you and John? I got six. You got six. What was the five, Melissa? Taped. Taped. And your six? Uh, I was going to say damped, but I think I've just used the D twice. Ah, uh, not to worry. So, taped. Sounds good, David. Taped is adept, which is an anagram. Well played. A good five. Um, there were quite a few sixes here. It was foamed and this show's favourite hair product, pomade. But the, the seven that I found is the word opiate, which is a strong narcotic, plus a D means to uh, stupefy or day. So opiated oh, is, a, so, is a seven. So to opiate is actually a, a verb. It's a verb. That's exactly right. Fascinating. Thank you, David. Uh, but five points for Melissa. Let's get back to those numbers now. And John, what would you like this time? Can I have two large and four small, please, Lou? Thanks, John. Two large, four small again. And... Starting with the smalls, two, nine, six, seven, and the two large, 50 and 75. The target to reach is 342. Let's chase that target. John? Yeah, 342. 342, no problem. And you, Melissa? I also got 342. Well, John, you chose the numbers. You take us there, please. Uh, Lily, I just did 50 multiplied by 7. 50 by 7 is 350. 350. And then take away the 6 and the 2. Minus the 6 minus the 2 is 342. Very straightforward. No problems at all. Melissa, uh, same approach? I actually did it a different way. A different way. Let's hear about that. Um, I added the 7 to the 50. 50 plus 7, that makes 57. And I multiplied it by 6. By 6 is 342. Well done. That was very nice as well. Even simpler. Lily, my guess is that you might have used that second method because you like a bit of tweaking, you know, the, uh, the figures in brackets. I do like a li little bit of tweaking and this was a classic tweakage. It was case. a classic tweakage. Beautiful stuff. So well done to both Melissa and John. Ten points each in that round. So John's on 22. Melissa, ten points ahead on 32 as we go to another break. Another word mix for you. This time it's far owner and your clue to alert more than three times. See you shortly.